tutorial I'm going to show you a full explanation of Hopper and Popper lab. We know the mass of this Popper, right? 1.78 gram height. So there is a height of the Popper is 0.5 centimeter. There are eight steps to this lab. Number one, you have to find the launching velocity. In order to send it to the air, you have to put it upside down, and now you have to put it over here, and then there would be a launching velocity, and this velocity you need to find, right? By using Vf squared is equal to Va squared plus 280. Number two, you have to find the time. The time it takes to go to the max height, which is just the the launching velocity divided by 10, that's the max height, Vf is equal to Va plus, plus At. You can also use the quadratic, doesn't really matter. Number three, you have to find the acceleration. This time you have to be very careful. It accelerates only 0.5 centimeter, 0 0.005 meter, right? It accelerates so much that the, this acceleration creates the velocity and that sends to the 195 centimeter above the ground. So acceleration must be close to 3000 meter per second square, right? Four, you have to find the acceleration time, right? How long it accelerates? It accelerates very small amount of distance, right? 0.5 centimeter, 0 0.005 meter. Number five, you have to find the arc recoil velocity. So when it goes this direction, the arc go to this direction. So you have to find the arc recoil velocity. Uh, this one moves this direction, arc moves this direction. So you have to find arc recoil velocity by uh, momentum before is equal to momentum after, right? Momentum before this one at rest, right? So if this one at rest, the arc is rest. So momentum before is zero. So momentum after is what you have to find. So momentum after is what? Uh, the mass of this one times the velocity of this one plus the mass of earth 6 times 10 to 24 and then velocity of the earth that's what you want to find so velocity of the earth would be mass of this one times the velocity of this one divided by mass of earth and then finally you want to find the acceleration of earth right which is very tiny amount right and then number seven is the most important number seven and eight number seven you have to find the force net force of earth how and the force is the force of earth is the mass of earth, which is 6 times 10 to 24, times acceleration of earth, which is very small amount, right? Which should be equal to, which should be equal to the force of this one, right? The force of this one would be how much? The mass of this one times the acceleration of this one, which is the, which is close to 3000, right? So that number seven has to be equal to number eight. And if they agree with each other, seven and eight, then you know you did everything correctly. If you don't get everything correct, then you watch the tutorial and try to do it again. This is the popper, right? So this height is 0.5 centimeter. So the height of the popper is 0 0.005 uh, meter. And then the max height, so the popper went uh, 195 centimeter, so 1.95 meter. Uh, what else we have to write down? Okay, that's it. So let's say this is location uh, A, this is location B, and this is location C. This is max height. Velocity is zero, and velocity is zero. We want to find the velocity zero. This is plus two times negative uh, nine point eight uh, height, so one point nine five. So velocity point one three meter per second. Six point one three meter per second. I am going to make a list over here. So velocity of the popper at location B is 6.13 meter per second. All right. So I'm going to update this list. Number second, we're going to find um, uh, time. Time it takes for this one to go to maximum height. Vf is equal to Vi plus At, right? So this one absolutely Vc, this one absolutely Vb, this one At, right? 
So this one is 0. So it's 0, this one is 6.13 uh, minus 9.8 t, right? So this become uh, 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 t is, uh, if this is 6.13, this one 0. Uh, 6.13, right? Second. So we're going to update it. So time it takes for the popper to go to max height is 0 0.613 second. All right, next what we want to do is to find the acceleration. It accelerates for how long? It accelerates for 0.5 centimeters. So Vf is squared is equal to Vi is squared plus 2ad, right? So this is Vb squared is equal to this is Va squared plus 2ad, right? It, this is 0, this is 6.13 squared, this is 2, this is acceleration we try to find and it accelerates only 0.5 centimeters, so 0 0.005 meter, right? So acceleration 6.13 squared over 0 0.01, right? So acceleration is 3, acceleration is 3757 meter per second squared, right? So number 3, acceleration is 3757 meter per second is square. Now, we want to find the time it accelerates. So, Vf is equal to Vi plus At, right? So, V, this is V, and B is equal to this is Va plus At, right? So, Vb is, of course, 6.13 is equal to Va is 0 plus acceleration is how much? 3757T, right? So, it accelerates 6.13 divided by 3757, 0.016 second. So we're going to update our list on 0016 second. Velocity is uh, momentum before is equal to momentum after. So m uh, power v power plus m r v r is equal to m power v power plus m r v r prime. Right. So this is zero. This is zero. Before uh, I pop the popper, right? The popper was at rest, right? So the proper velocity was zero. So therefore, the earth velocity was also zero. Uh, so m proper b proper prime plus m earth v earth prime. So v earth prime is equal to m proper b proper prime over m earth. So velocity of earth is m proper is very small, 0 0.00178. V proper is uh, is 6.13. The, and the mass of the earth is 6 times 10 raised to 24. So velocity times 10 raised to negative 27 uh, meter per second, right? So the velocity of the earth is uh, that much. So where I'm going to write velocity of the earth is uh, 1.8 times 10 raised to negative 27 meter, uh, meter per second. Now we have to find the acceleration of the earth. So the power this is the, the popper and this is the earth, right? The popper, the, uh, the popper is uh, moving this way with 6.13 meter per second. Therefore, earth is moving this way with uh, how much? 1.8 times 10 raised to negative 27 meter per second. Popper accelerating this way, how much? With 3757. 37 five seven meter per second square. Earth accelerating this way, how much? Let's find Vf is equal to Vi plus At. So Vf must be this one, 1 1.8 times 10 raised to negative 27 is equal to Vi is zero uh, plus uh, acceleration. And the earth acceleration is, and that's what we are trying to find. And earth accelerate only very small amount of time, uh, 0.0016. 0.0016 acceleration is 1.8 times 10 raised to negative 27, 0 0.0016, 0.125 times 10 raised to negative 24. So earth acceleration is, I'm going to write it down, um, earth acceleration is 1.125 times 10 raised to negative 24 meter per second square. Okay, now we are ready to do last two problem f earth uh, uh, net force is m earth acceleration of earth the proper net force is this is earth net force this is proper net force proper net force is m proper 
uh, r t is equal to 6 times 10 raised to 24 times acceleration of r t is how much? 1.125, 1.125 times 10 raised to negative 24, 10 raised to negative 24. What are you noticing? You're noticing that this 24, this 24 cancel. So, f r t is 6 times 1.125. So, this is uh, 6.7 Newton. F power is equal to m power. m power is 0 0.00178, and the acceleration of power is acceleration of power is 3757. 3757. So this is also 6.7 newton. Okay. So now the seven is equal to eight. That's what we wanted to show.